everybody! Welcome to Harpenden Common. Now Harpenden Common is a designated county wildlife site because of its makeup of amenity and acid grassland habitats, scrub and broadleaf woodland. Now all of these habitats in turn support a large variety of different species. Things like herbs, grasses, bugs, beetles, bats, birds, you name it. So over the next five minutes, I'm gonna take you on a little safari around the hayfield that we have here on the common, because at this time of year, it really is at its best. I'll show you some of the beautiful flowers, wildflowers that are flowering at the moment, and then we'll have a closer look at some of the species that these support. Oxide daisies are really abundant on the hayfield this year. If you look at the meadow from afar, it's an absolute sea of white, it's stunning. They're really easy to identify because they have this very, very big flower head, and it's a really important nectar source for a lot of different insects. This plant is also believed to be the very first to endure the petal plucking game of he loves me, he loves me not. The beautiful carpet of yellow flowers is bird's foot trefoil and it gets its name because the seed pods of the plant look distinctly like bird's claws or feet. It's a member of the pea family and a really important nectar source for a lot of different insects. It's also a really important caterpillar food plant for the common blue butterfly and the six spot burnet moth. We found some awesome beetles feeding on the pollen of this hogweed here. There's two different types. We've got this fantastic metallic green beetle called a Demera nobilis. And then we've got this lovely brown one here with a black head, really, really long antennae. And that one is called Strangalia melanura. This plant here is red clover. It's got a lovely pinky purpley flower and a typical clover trefoil leaf with a very light V shape in the leaf. Now it's highly sought after by a number of different species of bumblebee and is a really, really important plant as a food source here on the meadow. Right, let's go and find some beasties. Plenty going on. Oh look, we've got a caterpillar. And here we've got a beetle larvae of some description. This little beastie will turn into a beetle after undergoing some amazing changes. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your five minute safari and whistle stop tour of Harpenden Common. We've seen some pretty cool things, and hopefully, you can come and see it all for yourself soon.